when are you going to upload the Q&A? Q&A! Oh my god. Can you upload daily? Okay, first off, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who asked questions for this video. If it wasn't for you guys, this video wouldn't be made. So let's just get straight into it. Why are you called Jelly Jess? Well, if you guys didn't know, my name is Jess. No surprise there, really. And Jelly was one of my nicknames when I was like 10 years old during school. To be fair, everyone kind of had weird nicknames back then because we thought we were cool. Shout out to Bubble Muffin. You know who you are. And I would always have Jelly as my username for things. I'm not kidding, it used to be my Moshi Monsters account. <laughs> so I figured why don't I just go back to my roots and that's why I'm Jelly Jess. Okay side note before we get into the next question. People have been confused with the jelly in my intro. I believe in America this is actually called Jello, not jelly and this is actually called jelly not jam. I'm not sure if it's the same or different in other countries but in Australia we call this jelly and this Jess. Do you have merch yet? At the moment, no, I don't have an online store, but someday hopefully I'll get to open something like that. I'd also love to make some of these hoodies someday and even some tie-dye shirts, so stay tuned if you're interested. But if you guys are interested in supporting this channel, I have just created a new... <gasps> Patreon! I've kept it really simple over there so it's not overwhelming, but if you guys don't know what Patreon is, here's a basic explanation. You know if you go into a restaurant and if the service is really good, you give them a tip? Patreon is basically a tip jar for online creators. Instead of just getting tips and getting nothing with it, you will get rewards for your support. My Patreon in particular has four tiers. Strawberry jelly, raspberry jelly, blueberry jelly, and rainbow jelly. Some smaller rewards consist of having access to the pastry... <laughs> Some smaller rewards consist of having access to the Patreon feed and also having your name at the end of all my videos. So an example of one of the medium sized rewards is having early access to my videos before they come out on YouTube and that means you'll be the first to see my animations. And the larger rewards include custom artwork and custom voice lines from me. The link is on the screen and will be in the description box below, so if you guys want to check it out, let me know what you think. Do you have any pets? Well, no. Not yet. I have had some pets in the past, which might be a future video. <laughs> I am a huge animal lover, so I would definitely love to get a dog someday in the future. Do you like jelly? I didn't expect that this many people would ask this question, but anyway, here's my answer. I like it, but I don't love it to the extent of having it like every day. It's not my favorite food in the world, but it's pretty great. Do you have any phobias or fears? Okay, so I'm fine with spiders, but if there's just a random snake on the ground, just nope. Uh-uh, no, 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 no. No way I'm going to deal with that. I used to actually have so many nightmares over the years of snakes in my backyard, but the fear has gotten a, a bit better, I guess. Like, I'm not scared to look at them through a glass like at a pet shop or something, but if they were just out there in the wild, I'd be running for my life. So would most people, I'm assuming. Also, I hate bees. <laughs> Next question, what has inspired you to do YouTube? I've been watching heaps of storytime animation channels for the longest time here on YouTube and I've always just had the thought of, hey, maybe I could do that someday. Some people who have definitely inspired me are the odd ones out, Jaden Animations, the Marsing, Something Else YT, etc. Just literally the whole animation community, I just love what they do and I do like to tell stories myself so I figured why not give this a go. Will you ever do a face reveal? Well, I don't plan to anytime soon, but you never know what the future might hold. Why does your character have her hands in her sleeves? I added that to my character because really, I do this in real life. During colder weather, I absolutely love wearing hoodies and I tend to keep my hands in my sleeves if it's too cold. What would your channel be if it wasn't called Jelly Jess? Um, this is really weird, but I was gonna maybe call it Juicica. <laughs> Sounds gross. The reason behind that was because there was a phase in my life where I really liked drinking juice and Juicica sounds like Jessica. So yeah, I didn't go with that because I mainly go by Jess. 
Anyway, yeah, I was very stuck for names. What programs do you use? I use the combination of Adobe Flash for the talking bits, Paint Tool Sci, and Adobe After Effects for the cutscenes, visuals, and slash animating. And then I took everything into Sony Vegas Pro to edit everything together. Some people have asked me how I do the bouncy effects on the cutscenes, and I just do that on Adobe After Effects with the puppet tool. What was your dream job as a kid? Okay, so a part of me wanted to be a singer, but that dream kind of died and went down the drain as I couldn't sing at all and I didn't even try so yeah nothing went towards that one. Other than that I wanted to be a vet because you get to hang out with cute cuddly animals. Oh. Well I soon found out that wasn't the case all the time and I kind of was lost with what I wanted to be when I was older. How long does it take for you to make a video? It depends on what the video is and how long it actually goes for but normally the amount of time between uploads is how long it takes for the next videos to be made. I upload them as soon as they are done. What is your favorite TV show? I Carly! I know! You see- <laughs> Okay, I'm kidding with that one. It's pretty hard just to pick one TV show, but I really love The Umbrella Academy and I was a big fan of it when it first came out. I also love shows like Bob's Burgers, Stranger Things, Futurama, Avatar The Last Airbender, and just other things like that. Are you made out of jelly? How did you know? What were your favorite cartoon TV shows growing up? Spongebob would definitely be one of my favorites and I used to also watch a heap of Looney Tunes. I also watched a bunch of Futurama and I did watch a bit of Rugrats. Oh yeah, not the ones all grown up though. Do you like anime? Yes, I do. I'm currently watching One Piece at the moment and it's pretty good. How did you develop your art style to what it is now? Since you just started your channel with a pretty clean art style, where could we find your previous drawings that led you up to here? I don't really have anything online anymore, but there are some examples I have on my laptop and other pics that I've drawn on paper. As you can see, there's a little bit of improvement. My first actual design that I was going to use for this channel, I ended up scrapping it as I thought it looked strange. Just look at it, there's a random flower going out of my head. So some things got fixed and this design was made and I think I like it a lot more. What is your upload schedule? I still don't have one yet, it's just really when I can get videos done and post them for you guys. If your favorite color is green, then why is there only a little bit of green on you and a lot of purple. I just personally think they look better and I don't know how I'd feel if the colors were reversed on my character. And I mean on the other design I had a green jumper and personally I just didn't think it looked that good. Have you ever had any horrible food or service from a restaurant? Or has there been something gross in your food? Yes, there has been a few. The most recent occurrence was probably when there was a large piece of eggshell in my fried rice once. It was not excellent. Okay, I'll leave. What is your favorite animated movie? Okay, so this is another really hard question. Treasure Planet will always be my top favorites as I grew up watching it and it's just so good. Bambi would also be my favorites as well. But then there's the more recent Disney movies like Moana and Big Hero 6. Those are just there are also Studio Ghibli movies that are great too, and my favorites would be My Neighbor Totoro, Spirited Away, Arietti, and Ponyo. So the answer to this question is that I honestly have too many good choices to pick from, and I just recommend all of these. What is your favorite food? Probably a meat pie. I know. Basic. Do you play an instrument? No, I don't. What equipment do you use? I am currently using a Huey on display tablet and a blue Yeti to record my voice. What's the first thing you notice about a person? I don't know if anyone else does this, but other than someone's face, I notice the shoes they are wearing. Or you know, sometimes there's no shoes and you know what, I'm not judging. Have you ever wanted to eat jelly in your videos? Hmm, since you said that, it's definitely tempting. For you ever thought of how we're all going to die one day and we all know it, but we think everything matters in the end, but it doesn't because we're all gonna die and no one will remember us and nothing is worth it in the end? What is your favorite video game? My all time favorite video game would absolutely be Crash Bandicoot. I mainly played the PlayStation 1 games, but some of the slightly newer ones were really good too. 
I also really loved the remastered versions and before you say anything, yes, I am super keen for the remastered Crash Team Racing game. Let's be real, I'm gonna be playing that like 24 seven. What is something that you did as a kid and feel guilty about now? Okay, so when I was extremely little, I remember coloring in my coloring books with my crayons. For some reason, little me was like, you know what, let's take this to the extreme. So I got under the table with my crayons and began to draw. So this is it. It's a masterpiece. It's been here for over 10 years. So let me explain what this is really meant to be. This is meant to be a mini portrait of my mum. Just look at all those realistic details. But you see this next to it? That was me trying to spell mum, but instead I wrote lol. This was definitely in a time where I didn't know how to spell anything. There were also some green crayon marks in between the tiles as well. Those are still here to this day too. I'm sorry mum, please forgive me. Who are some of your favourite YouTube animators? Like I said before, there's a bunch of animators that are really cool and I watch all their videos, so there's the odd ones out. Jaden Animations, The Marsing, Cypher Den, Tim Tom, Something Else YT, Sugar, Illimation, Tabs, Sultan Sketches, etc. Have you ever swallowed gum before and if you have have, tell me the story. Quick story time, y'all. Okay, well, yes, I have. And I do have a, a unusual story to it. One day I was chewing gum at school, no big deal, right? And then it came to lunchtime. I forgot I had gum in my mouth and I started to eat my cheese and bacon bun. And the first few chews, I realized I still had my gum in my mouth, but I couldn't just take it out in front of everyone because that would have been gross. And imagine if I did, this random piece of bread would be covered in green gum bits. Yeah, no thanks. Anyway, I just sat there and continued to eat and suffer. Gulp. The end. What is your favorite sport? It's safe to say it's not swimming, lol. You know me too well. But my favorite sport would probably be soccer as I grew up playing it. Quick side note, I wasn't very good at it, but I had fun and that's all that really matters. What is that thing on your leg? That thing on my leg is an anklet and in real life I wear that every single day and don't take them off. I switch them every single year. Okay, now for the fire round. Do you play video games? Yes, I love to play them in my free time. Have you ever had heat stroke? I think I've been close to it maybe when I was a lot younger, but Damn, Australia weather's like the <laughs> town. Australian weather likes to challenge us. That is what I'm trying to say. Where are you from? Australia. Favorite color? Green and purple. Favorite animal? Dogs for sure. Specifically chihuahuas and labradors. But Tasmanian devils are pretty cute too. Except their noises. <coughs> How old are you? 18. When is your birthday? The 25th of October. Bracket. Literally, someone just sent me a bracket. Why is your outfit an eggplant? Oh my god, it actually kind of looks like an eggplant. Have you ever thought of murder and thought of the whole plan but didn't go through with it? Dot dot dot. I have. Uh, have you ever been to Disney World? I went to Disneyland for the first time in Paris a little over a year ago. It was amazing. What was the best day of your life? Probably Disneyland. Okay, so that's all the questions I'm going to be answering today. Thank you guys so much for commenting your questions. But before I leave, I'm going to leave you guys with a question. My question to you is, what should you guys be called? A few examples that I have thought of are the jelly cups, jellos, gels, and wobbly boys. And if you guys have any other suggestions, leave them in the comments below. That's it for this Q&A. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Just a quick reminder, if you are interested in the Patreon, there's a link right now and there is one in the description as well.